Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how to use your TrackMan 4 indoors and how to calibrate it with TrackMan Performance Studio. Let's get into it. If your TrackMan 4 isn't on already, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it on. Once you've done that, then we can head over to the PC and verify that we're connected to the TrackMan. In this example, we're going to be doing it wirelessly via Wi-Fi. In order to do so, head down to the bottom of your screen, open up the network settings, and find the serial number of the TrackMan you're trying to connect to. Then click on that network, and finally click Connect. You might also notice that your TrackMan broadcasts a second network with the same name and the word FAST at the end. Although both of these networks work, we do recommend connecting to the regular one since it's a slightly stronger connection. As we wait for that, let's go ahead and open TrackMan Performance Studio. Once it opens, we'll need to verify that the network connection was successful. If the taskbar at the bottom of your screen does not pop up when you scroll down, a quick tip is that you can always press the Windows button on the bottom left corner of your keyboard. This will enable us to get back into those network settings, verify that we're connected by that disconnect button, and you may also notice that it says no internet secured. This is to be expected because the TrackMan does not produce any internet access. At this point, we're ready to calibrate the TrackMan. You can do so via the target image screen, which can be reached by clicking the white TrackMan logo at the bottom center of each of TrackMan Performance Studio's homepages. Once the target image loads, the first thing you need to do is verify that your hitting position is as close to the center of the blue box as possible. Now that we've verified that ball is in the center of the blue box, it's also worth noting that we have the most successful pickup rate when the ball is as close to 7 feet directly in front of the TrackMan as possible. Since you have the tape measure out already, it'll also be helpful to measure the distance from the ball to your screen or net. That way you know how much ball flight you have. This will come in handy in the next step of the calibration process. Going back to the PC, you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the target image screen is a drop down box where you can adjust your tee up to net distance. In our simulator, I know we have roughly 11 feet of ball flight, so I adjust accordingly. This sets that horizontal blue horizon line as close to the bottom of our projector screen as possible, which is exactly what we want. At this point, it's time to calibrate the TrackMan 4. What we're doing here is choosing the straight line on which most of the data for each shot is based off of. It's represented on the target image screen here with a vertical yellow line. Now that it's time to calibrate, you have one of two options. The first is Auto Target, which uses a checkerboard projected by your projector onto your screen to calibrate that center line off of the dead center of your projector screen. This means that you will have to verify that your projector is on. You may also want to try dimming the lights momentarily, or else the auto target sequence may fail. Once it's successful, it'll say so at the top of the screen, and then go back to the home page. But let's go back to the target image screen and check out that second option when it comes to calibrating. Although this process is slightly more complicated, it's definitely my preferred method because I have a lot more control and understanding over where the radar is calibrated to. The first step here is to address the ball as though you're about to hit, look at your projector screen, and then find a spot that seems like a comfortable straight line. Then I lean my club against the screen and verify one more time that that seems like a good straight line. Next, head over to the PC and use the mouse to physically click on the club. That way we know the straight line is exactly where the golf club is. Now you can go remove the club. Before doing so, I like to place a T where the club head was. That way I have a physical marking to aim at while I'm over the ball, which indicates my straight line. One last look to verify, and I'm ready to press continue. The last feature on the target image screen that's important to go over is virtual golf offset, seen on the right hand side of the screen. It's also worth noting that just as its name implies, this offset only applies to virtual golf, not shot analysis. Some simulator rooms aren't wide enough to hit from the center of the mat, so virtual golf offset is a very useful tool. What it does is allows our virtual golf graphics to simulate the flight of a shot that is hit from anywhere besides the center of the mat. 
When using Virtual Golf Offset, the calibration process is very similar to the manual calibration process. Here I'm moving the TrackMan 4, that way the ball that I'm about to hit resides inside the blue box. Finding a new comfortable target line, placing my club there, and physically clicking on it to calibrate. Then we can go over to Virtual Golf Offset on the right side of the screen, click it, and drag the dial slightly right of the center of the screen which will literally move your entire projected image shown here. Once you drag the cursor over to align with your new offset target line, you can then press OK, and the TrackMan will use that checkerboard once again to calibrate, taking into consideration the offset that you've just chosen. And at this point, we're finally ready to have some fun. Whether that's in shot analysis, virtual golf, or one of our games, the choice is up to you on how you want to improve your game. And that concludes our tutorial video on how to use your TrackMan 4 indoors and how to calibrate it with TrackMan Performance Studio. Please feel free to watch some of our other videos to troubleshoot simple questions that you may have, or always feel free to contact our technical support line. Thank you.